Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Once again, this is Eddie Marcus, spokesman and advocate of basic human rights for all people. Got a wonderful message for you today, and I hope you give me your time and, and a little attention. I promise you'll come out of this with something, and it will be something positive and good. This message is coming to you live from station WEBM. That's wonderful, Eddie B. Marcus, operating smack down from the top of the sky, the spiritual realm, right to wherever you are. And I hope and pray that this message will flow through and over and all around you and be about you just as the blood that flows through your veins. And then you use it for be you. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, this message is very important to us as a people. I'd like to ask you, how many of you really love your country? Now, I mean, put aside the anger that you might have at how it is and how it's reflected against you and all that kind of stuff. But how many of you would, work, would rather live in another country? You know that all your life you've been taught that America is the greatest nation on the face of the earth and I don't care wherever else you live in the world. They might have a spurt of wealth somewhere, but basically all over America is it. How many of you would like to change your place with one of these other countries? Perhaps a third world country. What, if, what happens if America is reduced to that level of socioeconomics? How many of you would love that? Well, I'm sure most of you wouldn't like it. So I want to draw your attention to what's happening to your free America. What we have here is an expression that people have failed to honor themselves, failed to respect themselves, and they are so tired of it, and they want to move on. And what do you do when you want to move on? You crank it up and you go. But where do you move to, especially to a place when you consider you've never been? How do you get there? What road do you take? Which way do you take? And it is also this, my friends, I want you to consider when you're coming up with a conclusion in a matter like that. We have some symbols and some words that reflect something to our thinking, and it helps us out. For instance, when you think about God, Regardless of what you feel about God or what you've grown to understand and maybe change your feelings about God, but you know essentially what everybody thinks about God. And the opposite. You know what everybody thinks about the devil. God and the devil. You know what people say when they talk about good. You know what good is supposed to represent. And it's opposite, bad, or evil. That's the word that they want to get in the spiritual side talk about, evil, good, and evil. You know what good represents? You know what evil represents. Ladies and gentlemen, we are being tested, and how we pass or fail this test reflects who we really are, not who we say we are, who we really are. But I want to give you some pointers. We are really being attacked. You see, evil is nothing new. Evil has always been around. And all over the globe, everybody has taken a bite out of evil. But evil has not consumed them just yet. Many of them are just about to poop, pass away. But evil is spending so much time here in these realms and having its effect uh, vibrate <coughs> all over the world evil has found someone in america in the united states of america to allow it it to bed itself and to become the voice of evil to do that which evil does and evil like always has all been about business taking care of business. You remember evil when they came and exploited the natives and killed them, wiped them out? And when they 
tried to retaliate to call them savages. You remember how evil looked in those days? To one side, evil looked fantastic. It was giving them home. It was giving them land, something that they can call their own, something they don't have to keep running from. That's evil. Now, in a situation, evil is taking care of his business. But what about good? What is good doing? Is good just refusing to step in that direction of evil? Is good just about the business of not rocking the boat? Is good just about the business of pointing out what someone else is doing? Well, in a situation like that, evil goes on. But good doesn't, because all along the way, as evil is stepping up the ladder of messing over people, they hear the same thing wherever they go from good that they heard from you. And what happens? Good grows and grows. Excuse me, evil grows. Evil were too good, we're too on a different path. But it grows and grows. And now it's hell before we in America. We hear evil's voice lie all the time. We wouldn't know it, but you can read the tweets and they contradict one another. You can look at the video on TV and they contradict one another. You can hear what he says and watch what he does. They contradict one another. And yet, the influence is being picked up by so many and that support, that what is being said, whatever advantages he, uh, that spirit of evil here in America gives it, then all across the rest of the world they start trying to use it where people want to become God. They are people expressing evil, want to become God. But what happens? Why is it like that? I want to tell you, ladies and gentlemen, here in the United States of America, there have been many, many people who have always felt left out. They've always felt dejected and homeless and Cinderella-like. There are a lot of people in this country who feel just like that. And nobody wants to be like that. Feeling like that is one thing, but being like that is another. No one wants to be like that. And then they keep hoping, they even pray, that things would change. And generations and generations things, if they change, they get worse. And so these people, all of them, even the evil people are looking for a, different, a difference, and good people are looking for a difference. But evil comes alone and finds a voice. Where is the voice of good? And who will listen to the voice of good? See, at the same time, while one is talking about building walls, another is talking about building bridges. Building bridges not found on money, but founded on love. And where is that voice? Everything that evil says, it gets reported over and over and over and over again throughout the media, every source, over and over and over again. And it's people are just banging aside their heads like hammers. You repeating it, repeating it, repeating it. And on the other side, all you have good doing is saying, pointing out the wrong, pointing it out. But you still got people trying to go somewhere. So why won't good stop pointing out problems and start standing up for solutions? Give the media a reason to treat evil's voice the same way they've been treating my voice, the voice that I have before you today. Let evil be treated that way. And let us give the media something wonderful to spread. Let us decide to change our way. We don't have to just stay here. We already see people are tired of being just stagnant. They want to move. So let's take them down the path that they're familiar with. But we bring it up to a level that they never could see but only dream. And that's making sure that every last one of them, every last one of them, whether they're working today or not, have a career of their own choosing, 
Let us make sure that the people who work to create the things, the goods and services that we as a people are so essential, let us make sure that they are protected. They have an avenue to be themselves. Give and allow every last one of them to have a career of their own choosing. And from that career, everybody doing their thing, and the way it's lined up by the spirit of truth and good and love and God, is that it will in its effect create, my friends, all of the food and clothing and shelter that any nation, any world could ever need. My, 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 my. Let's give the media something like that to talk about and stop talking about the lies that this man is talking, that evil is trying to spread, that is tearing this world apart. Let them start talking about everybody in, in human form have access to them, unlimited and unrestricted education. Let them know that there will be no excuse for a dummy unless that is what God created and that dummy has a role in society. But... There will be no limitations on education. No limitations whatsoever. Let the media know that and spread that message. Let the media know that everybody will have health care from the womb to the tomb, unlimited, unrestricted, and we'll do everything. We know we'll have the best that we as American people could have. And we're not limited there. We're constantly doing our research. We're constantly trying to take it a step higher because we're doing what our spirit, our new us, is doing. Let the news media have that to tell. Let the news media that know that there in this is peace, that it's prosperity for all. It's a new joy of life. Let the news media see this and point that out to us. Let our ears start hearing that, dreaming against it, banging against it, love, no lying, no cheating, no stealing, no killing. None of that stuff is essential. Let the media tell that. And then give the people a choice. Do they want to listen to the liar? Or do they want to listen to the dream and make it real? Give legs to the dream. Because in this, evil says evil can do it all at one voice. It has enough evil caught up in it to cover all the evil and all those that believe in evil. But here, my friends, how many ever billions of you there are? The spirit of love is the same spirit. And it's about to others as it is for you. It's easy to understand. And with the freedom you're being guided by a spirit inside of you that creates all of the things that we see, even the earth, even all that is in it, on it, above it, seen and unseen. By joy, that's the power of love. And when you're living like that, you ain't got time to die. So let the news media have something good to talk about and stop talking about evil. Now, this message was given, I believe, the first day of August 2018. And let's see if anybody click on it <laughs> other than me to see if anybody has clicked on it. Well, see, ladies and gentlemen, this is what I'm talking to you about. Evil is going on and people have jumped on that bandwagon. I come along for 20 years or more talking about evil and pointing it out to you and then telling you to look on the bright side, inviting you to listen to a different side. And we call it good and loving and godly because it addresses every last one of you. It leaves none of you out regardless of your gender, your color, your sex, your shape. doesn't matter. If you're living as a human being and if, well, let's just stay on the human being. You're going to get the same blessings to yourself that you want for yourself because you respect it for everybody else. And who would take it from you? Who would dare take it from you when you got it like that? So I'm saying I asked the people of the state of Minnesota to make me the United States Senator from the state of Minnesota talking about good, talking about love, talking about joy, talking about God. And who are they going to send? Stand the reason that they will send good. The same goodness that they've been all along. The same goodness that is failing to stop evil. 
the same kind of standstill that the people in the, of the world are running from. Now, if you want to overcome evil, you got to be a baby taking care of business. You can't sit there looking at it, pointing out, and arguing. No, you got to set. You got to set the direction. You got to make the steps. Oh, you'll be surprised at how many good people will really, really choose doing good rather than just sitting still. And I'm asking you, all of you, if you do happen to hear this message, if I'm alive during the 2020 election, as I'd like to go in there as a write-in. And the thing that's so unique about this campaign, ladies and gentlemen, is that I'm giving you this campaign opportunity based on respect for truth and honor and love and compassion for one another. I'm not trying to play the same game that the world has set up to play. You know you've got to have all kinds of money. And you know how that thing works. Or you don't have any money. But if you don't have any money, you've got to have something to carry you. And so what I see that is, an opportunity for truth. And I'm hoping that enough people out here are looking for truth who have enough humility in, their, in themselves to have a, something like a magnet to draw as much of any truth that they ever hear to themselves. And so I'm thinking that you will hear this and suck it up. And everybody you run across when you start talking about politics whether it's in your house or your friends, your relatives, your neighbors, your co-workers, that you be discussing this. This is good stuff. And you start comparing it to where it appears to be going and where you're at and where you really want to go. I expect that to happen. That's what I would do if I heard somebody else talking about it. I'd be so glad. I'd be telling, ooh, did you hear this? It's like Dr. King is alive again. Now, that, everybody knows Dr. King used to live. It's as if Jesus is alive again. Now, many of you don't think that ever happened, but many of you do. It's if you never existed, and all of a sudden you do. Now, many of you might never think that you there was a time you didn't exist, but I don't know. I know there was a time when I wasn't here, <laughs> at least in any describable, understandable fashion. So what I'm saying to you, ladies and gentlemen, you got to move on up because you're going to move. Or you're going to move on up in evil. And I say up, I'm not going to say down. Because everybody that's on that evil side believes that it's the best thing that they could ever experience. And that there's no way on the face of the earth that they are going to stand still and commit to what the earth America, or any of these systems as they are, are about. Evil got to be great, because evil is doing something. They believe in evil, and they lie with evil, they cheat with evil, they excuse everything that evil does, because they hope it for something different. They're going to get something different for sure. But on the good side, our thing is not looking at them, wanting to punish them. We want to show them what they're looking for is right here. <laughs> That's all we got to do. Show them that what they're looking for is right here. They'll jump that ship in a minute. You see, they don't know. They are believing. They are believing. See, believing means you don't know. And so they just got to believe something. They're tired of where we are. So they believe the first big mouth that comes along. And you know what? That big mouth had money. That big mouth had money. That money was like a bait. It suckers people to, oh, could you see the big plane that he's flying? Oh, look at him, how wonderful he looks. Oh, look at the, and then the bait is pulling. And so they look at, and there again, this white media is over there. Money. And on the other side, someone comes along talking about the other goodness. But they ain't got no money. And see, but everything in America and parts of the world is that based upon money talks and bull walks. And so here comes the good side, walking alone and being ignored to the max. And all of a sudden, it's like a wildfire evil side. Everybody 
get enough, get caught up in that evil. And the ones who got the ability, they got the guns, they got the money, all the money. And all those who are seeking that money so bad, so hungry, they got to get it, and they evil going to help them get it. And they just over there powerful. And good sitting over here. <laughs> sitting over here. I wonder, I wonder if good is waiting for Jesus to come back out of the clouds. I dare every person who say they're good. I dare you. I dare you to allow the spirit of Jesus Christ to come inside of you. Jesus, they say, is a spirit. I dare you, allow the spirit of Jesus Christ to get inside of you. And let's see how you go forward. Do you keep walking on down that track? They didn't kill Jesus because he kept walking on down some different track. They killed him for walking down the track that we, as human beings, failed to walk. He stepped outside of the box. We can't stay inside the box. We're being defeated by evil. We're making God look like God is nothing but a paper shack. And why? Because we say we got God in us. And if evil sucks us all up, what kind of God is that? I say to you, now is the moment for us to stand up like we've never stood before. Now is the time for us to stand up like we used to dream we'd stand up. We'd be bold. We'd be somebody. Because in us is greater than anything outside of us. We don't speak it unless we do it. And doing it, there's no challenge, there's no doubt. And why? We don't have to bend our knees to anybody. Why? Because we are the reason that all of us are standing up strong. And none of us have a reason to bend our knees because we might shake the flow and the flow is gone because the power is here based upon our commitment to truth and love and one another. Boy. Now, can evil speak to you like that? Well, good can but it won't mean a thing unless you step out and start doing it. So I challenge every last one of you to stand up and let us prove that all eyes might see, all ears might hear what love is. Let's do it together. Let's do it for one another. Because when we do that, we become one body. And that body is the embodiment of the spirit, the spirit of love, the spirit of truth, and it sets us free. And I guarantee you, evil's voice will just become as silent as you know mine is at this day. And the people, my friends, our sisters, our brothers, our cousins, uncles, and mothers, and fathers will snap back on God's side. Need I say more? I want to thank you so very much for giving me this your time. This is, once again, Eddie Marcus, spokesman and advocate for basic human rights for all people. Also, a write-in candidate to become the next senator from the state of Minnesota in 2020, hoping to become the voice of good, the voice of love. The voice of peace and prosperity and happiness for every individual becoming the next president of the United States by your power. And that's how come I can't fail. Because it's not me. It's us. No. They might have held you down and told you you were nobody in the past. But on this campaign, you are somebody. And it can never be as successful as it's going to be with you. Bye-bye.